Hey guys, it's me, Opinionated Jasmine, coming through with my opinion. Well, this is a big conspiracy theory that I'm about to say. So I was watching on YouTube Jams TV. I love his content when it comes to, because he's the one that I go to usually to see, like, what are the things about Takashi, because not too many, you know, you can't really find that in the news and stuff like that, unless you go on TMZ. And they're very vague, like, right now. Because I don't even think TMZ could get that much info or whatever. But it's mad weird. Because, so, they were studying the picture that um that Jade took with Takashi in jail. And that's supposed to be in, in the facility. But they were saying that the outfit he had, like, the pants. And I noticed that those pants weren't regular um prison pants. Those look like cargo pants and they're not gonna give you cargo pants in the facility like not that type and the shirt he had on i agree with him that with jimmy that it could have been but that that shirt you could buy anywhere like those type of um shirts you could buy anywhere so a lot of people are saying that it's weird like maybe he's working with the feds maybe he's in the witness protection program because even in the picture that, now this was a crazy one. Like I really, my subscribers that like to see about Takashi and stuff like that, I really will go to Jams TV on YouTube and look that up. Because the picture that he blew up, right, on the lens of, of Jade's um, shades that she has on, you clearly see Takashi right in the reflection. So it's crazy. Like, you could literally see him. Like, I'm not bugging. I know I'm not bugging out. Nobody else is bugging out. You don't have to be a brain. Like, a, you know, you don't have to be the smartest person to, like, see what you see. You, you know what I mean? So, y'all check that out because it's crazy. That shit really did blow my mind. Like, he was like, Jimmy was like, oh, it's going to blow your mind. That shit blew my fucking mind. I couldn't believe it. Like, what? But then again, I could because I am one of those conspiracy theorists type of person. And I'm like... They're not giving news about this in the, like, big news outlets, like, the media. Is it really, like, you know, I know there's a lot going on, though, because, you know, the whole thing with the government shutdown, which is horrendous. You know, we got these government employees that are working for free right now. You know, like TSA, you know, anywhere. It, it, everything's getting, you know messed up because of that these people aren't getting paid so there's big things going on you know i know the whole r kelly mess is getting a lot of media attention as it should too you know but you haven't it's a big rico charge and you haven't heard snap about it anywhere like you haven't heard anything like not a peep about nothing like it's weird to me i've never seen some shit like this like, in a RICO charge with a celebrity, because as much as some people may say, oh, he wasn't famous like that. No, he got he got popular. He got, he was next to fucking Kanye West. Like, boy got popping. You know, he was, he's popping. His music's popping. He's popping. Like, even he's in, if he's wherever he's at, he's popping. But, like, I really don't feel like he's in a facility either. Like, I feel like. He's really working with the feds. I feel like he could be even a witness protection program. You don't know. Like, the government, to get what they want, they will they will do deals. So, I don't know. This is all really crazy to me. I really, like, I'm trying, you guys, to find out more information about this. And I will keep trying so I could bring you guys updates on him. Because I really don't find too much stuff about him at all. Like, it's crazy. Like, I would think a big RICO charge like this, you will find, you know, like, stuff from lawyers, whatever. Like, all you've heard is about, you know, that the lawyer's planning to go and see the judge and try to get a bail for him. And that's it. Like, I know the other guy, Shoddy, he, um, he, he had to drop his lawyer or his lawyer dropped him because he didn't have the money to pay it. So, the other defendant's lawyer, I'm sorry, shit, I don't remember the third guy, but the other guy's old lawyer is now going to be Shadi's new lawyer.
it's a mess excuse me guys it's a mess it's a whole mess like and i'm gonna keep snooping and snooping and snooping and snooping so i find something because this shit's crazy i want to know like and we're not gonna find out till like september and that's like a minute away like a long time away but it's just i never see okay like who gets somebody a whole freaking car for Christmas when he's behind prison and his assets were frozen? How the fuck? Unless he bought that car before he went to prison? How the fuck? Explain that shit to me. Please make it make sense because it doesn't make any sense. If his things got frozen, how the hell is he going to have the money to go behind prison and be able to, oh, do his bail. Remember, because he still has a 1.5 away for the bail money, right? That's supposed to be for bail. And then he got her a fucking expensive ass car or truck, whatever you want to call it. Like, come on. Nah, something's fishy about all of this. All of this is fishy. And... That girl straight up coming up from his name, hey. Shit, can't fucking, can't knock the girl. She doing it. Can't knock the bitch. She's fucking doing it. You know, so, I don't know, you guys. Drop your fucking comments. Let me know how y'all think. Excuse my freaking language. <laughs> you know, drop your comments. Please like and subscribe. And I'll be back with more, you know, on all this mess. As I find out, I'll come back and let y'all find out. Bye.